Hello friends, I am Oom and today we are diving the fantastic world of customization in Linux or as you already know, Unix Pawn. And now you see, I'm not gonna explore the whole site of Unix Pawn like that. I've already explored it and I've chosen four amazing Linux customizations and rises you're definitely gonna like for your desktop. And yeah, tell me in the comments what do you think about this new series of Linux customizations reviewed by me. And yeah, the links are in the description, so don't worry about it. And I'm gonna review each one of them in detail. So let's get started with the first one. And our first customization is from this is awesome wm dot files from chocolate bread seven nine nine. And take a look at that. Take a look at these animations. This is just beautiful, just beautiful. As you can see, this is a floating vertical sidebar and it looks damn good and it has both light and dark variants and just awesome now as you can see right now here it has amazing vertical sidebar along with a proper start menu which looks damn good man you know what i just want to install it right now right away i just want to install it i'm literally acting like a kid but it looks damn good then we have the dark mode as well now this toggle is definite definitely for dark mode and Yes, it is a tiling window manager for obviousness, but this is the best in this list. Now he has hinted that another rice is coming. Shall we go and check? <laughs> what the heck was that? Like another rice was coming and what happened? Now let's leave that. He has multiple other rices as well. For example, let's check each of them one by one. Okay. So here we are on some, well, this is his first awesome dot files then we have the other one which also looks okay -ish. then we have oh man this looks good this is also based on awesome wm but it is more of a vertical setup then we have this one well this person actually likes to play with these sort of stuff doesn't it yep it does but the best in this list is actually this one literally man it is like that dream mac os setup and he's actually featured it he is giving special thanks to these people. Let's just open and review them as well, okay? Yeah, like, you might want to watch it till the end. Not found, here it is. This person set up and this was also not found. Okay then, so he was inspired by a lot of others. But man, this looks damn good. It uses awesome WM. So if I go to the setups, then like this, these are the softwares which I need to install then installing particular things like themes and others then installing the fonts and then comes the dot files these then we have to add specifies color schemes like this is properly an amazing setup literally man this is literally make intimidating intimidating me not intimidating me intimidating me literally man this setup is just so fascinating let me just open it in full screen okay yep i have to open in a new okay now we're taking a good look at it so as we can see now it is better so as we can see it, it uses everything on the float with tiling window management good and then both in the light and dark mode this person has made everything pretty great like we have the report section the home the dashboard then files calendar documents and settings this is literally the most usable and productive theme or awesome wm rise till now ever you know what i'm definitely gonna go and install this right now wait not right now because right now i'm here on this amazing arch plus gnome setup and this is way better like yes this one is literally intimidating hey is there any word like intimidating let's try yes there is and that means frighten or threaten then what does intimating well i actually know all right then so till now i was using the wrong word now let's leave that so let me just tell you one thing this is literally the most usable literally the most usable awesome wm setup till now and you know what i'm gonna do i'm going to install this setup on my other hard disk and then try everything like i'm going to install it on a fresh arch install yes i'm going to do that and i'm gonna try each and everything about it well it was this is not the one is it not even this let me just open it again there we go the amazing awesome wm setup from this person 
Now let's move to the second one, which is from i6174. I don't know who that is, but his hyperland dot files are literally amazing. Like, let me just open it. Now, as you can see, this is using hyper panels. So, yep, yeah, it is not gonna be that heavy. All you're gonna need is at least 4 or 6 GB RAM, and that's it. Now, taking a look at it, man, it's, it looks just damn good. An amazing desktop for gamers, okay? And there's a GIF with it. Let's take a look at that. Really? Let me just open it in new image. Again, I need to zoom it so much. Alright then, so it looks not clear, but as you can see, the animations are pretty amazing. So it is definitely using triple buffering valent setup along with most probably WoFi. Like really, I am in love with this desktop. And now, in my opinion, this developer has created such a marvelous piece of art. Yes, this is really an amazing art. But there's a condition installing Hyperland customizations, okay? At first, he said that it was not suitable for monitors other than this resolution, but now it is suitable to any screen thanks to Hyperpanel. Yep, I knew it was gonna be Hyperpanel. Now, by the looks of the customizations and setups, I must say, if you have a new, fresh Arch install, like Endeavor OS, Catch OS, or the native Arch install, then only you're supposed to install this Hyperland setup. Or else you're gonna end up breaking your existing setup. That is one condition for Arch Hyperland setups, okay? Koekwa Life. I hope that it is actually pronounced like that, but let's just go into the real deal, okay? Now, a lot of you guys already recognize this one, but this is the one I installed a few days ago and I created two videos about it. This is a full-fledged material you design Hyperland setup. Now, I've already personally used this setup, so yes, I can tell you all the things about it. Now, the thing is, it is just a window manager using Hyperland and yes, it gives you all the functionalities of whatever you would expect. It is just like an Android UI as you can see by the looks of it but i must warn you about this particular hyperland material you set up okay since i've already used it personally i have the experience to tell you one thing that yes you're gonna love it at start not even at start you can actually stay on this hyperland setup for a while but this sort of feels incomplete like the whole design ui and everything is applied only to the front but there's nothing else like literally nothing else you're just gonna get a beautiful panel with control menu, then a start menu of a sort. That's it. And a settings application, which only allows you to change a few bunch of stuff, nothing else. So it actually feels pretty empty. Now, once again, experiences can vary. You might even end up liking it. And I even liked it and used it for almost a month. As you can see, it works marvelously but it feels lacking like as you can see this is the application menu and its vertical format was literally amazing and even the hyper lock which was the lock screen it literally looked amazing as a screensaver or something like that and yeah it had an amazing emoji picker which actually was used pretty amazingly but besides that i will not recommend this hyperland if you want a full flesh desktop experience like if you're if you want to switch to Arch Linux permanently and use it for most of your day-to-day -day stuff, then I do not recommend it. But if you are in dual boot or you just want to test out and experience the fluid animations and beautiful Arch Linux with Hyperland drives, then I'm gonna definitely recommend this setup. And I believe the developer actually works pretty often like this was updated two weeks ago. So you can imagine that yes, it is an active repository and it is updated every once in a while not every once in a while like pretty fast actually than the others so yep here includes concluded so yep here the conclusion is that yes i literally loved it and it was such a great experience using material you on my pc i've created a video about it if you want to check it out you can search on my channel's videos but now it is the time to go to the next one and this one is my favorite. It is from Lokesh Krishna. And this is the best in this list. And I've used it personally as well. Now, Lokesh Krishna has a bunch of amazing, different, literally amazing customizations. Starting from this one, Beneath the Surface. Then we have a Pastel Dreams, which is obviously maybe Hyperland. 
Then the candy cotton candy factory also looks damn good. Then Sakura, my favorite one. You see, let me just show you. You see, right now, just there, it looks damn good. It was such a minimal and pretty usable Hyperland setup. Maybe it was Hyperland, I don't remember pretty much. And then we have others like Fishing for Stars, All I Want, Solitude, and the native Nord desktop, the infamous Nord desktop. Okay, now let's just go on with Cotton Candy Factory and Sakura. Yep, so yes, in the start, I said that there were only four, but in reality, there are approximately eight or nine setups. So here we are on the Cotton Candy Factory, which is inspired by Moonfly. Let's take a look at Moonfly as well, okay? Um, actually, I cannot. It was just a normal image. Okay, then let's leave that. So this is actually based on Sway. Oh my. It uses Weba, Wofi as application launcher. So yep, it is pretty lightweight and pretty amazing to use. Oh man, it looks damn good. Damn good. I actually want to recommend this instead of the Hyperland material you design setup because it is pretty usable, more than more usable than the others. And it uses Wi-Fi and Sway, so you don't have to worry about system resources as it will work fine on a low-end PC. Now let's move to the second one, which is my personal favorite, Sakura. Now it is also based on the same Sway with Weba with Wi-Fi. But now take a look at this one. You see, I like these setups, especially on Linux, because there is so much variety, even from the same creator on the same like Sway desktop environment. You can get millions, literally millions of different setups on Unix Pawn. And yeah, it uses the same lock screen. Now leaving that, in my opinion, Lokesh Krishna is just an awesome developer. No doubt about it. Hey, he has something like Capuchino. Well, this is Pastel Dreams inspired by Capuchin, maybe? Yes. Well, this one also deserves to be reviewed because it looks damn good. Just because of that. It is not that usable as, in my opinion, it is a little heavier than the others. Now, you might be wondering why am I saying that? Because it's obvious. Just take a look at it. So don't, for don't forget to subscribe and I'll meet you in the next video. Yep, that's it. Now, I believe if you feel like anything's different about the video, then it is probably because I am going to rearrange the sequence. I have reviewed things and I'm going to make this particular one, the la you know, the best one at the first. Because yes, I want some proper watch time and half of my audience would already leave the video before reaching the end and the best part. That is why I'm going to change the sequence and make the best part at the starting. Now, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, then subscribe for more awesome tech videos uploaded on this channel and I'll meet you next video. <sighs> Literally, why I am speeding things like, there's a term for this, rapping. I'm not a rapper. Well, then leave that. So, yep, bye bye. And I'm going to install it. So, yep, don't forget to subscribe. And a proper video about this particular setup is coming on the channel. So, bye.